Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another tutorial in Soft. So what I've done in our previous video is that we covered a basic math operation and I've just renamed to basic math operations here, renamed the particular flow to add sub operations. Now I'm going to bring up another transformation and in this video we are going to talk about an important topic called as operators. Okay, this is a basic mathematical operators. And in this video, we are going to talk about two important things, which is equality and relational operator. Relational operator, I forgot to say that. Relational operator and logical operator. Now let's understand what all we have. In this, we have less than, less than symbol. Yeah, less than. And then you have, okay, greater than. I'll say less than and you have less than or equal to greater than then you have greater than or equal to and then you have equality operator followed by the I don't know the actual name of it what do you call for this tilde you can find that particular character just below the escape of it equal to I'll just say this this I'll just kind of I'll, I'll do one thing I'll name this as the equal operator equality equality and this I would say coerce. I'll tell the meaning of it as we see the example, but let's go with that name. Now in the logical operator we have or you have and and you have okay you have uh, you have a or and then you have exclamation which is negation and then you have finally the um, not operator see the not operator and this particular operator okay let me do one thing let me keep them together both of them are same it's that only difference is that the precedence matters precedence and we are going to look at that in the video and this was introduced in the data v2.2.0 okay with this in mind we'll go back here in the studio operators just right click rename and we'll say equality equality operator equality operator and and equality and equality and I'll say equality relational operator okay and I'm gonna copy paste this as it is and here I'm going to talk about logical operators logical operators okay so let's get into the world of data weave. Slide it across, click on the preview, DW, that's a data weave module. And there you go, let's go ahead and do it. And here, I'm gonna say that first uh, key one, which is nothing but the first key. One less than one. So as you can see here, it's false, yes, obviously this requires no understanding as such but you know what i'm saying key to i'll say one less than or equal to one which is also true one less than or equal to 0 0.5 which should be false one less than or equal to minus eight which is false uh, one is greater than or equal to minus 8 which is true 1 less than or equal to minus 8 which is false okay just got confused a little bit over there <laughs> right next 56 greater than 98 which is false then you have key for um, say 876 greater than or equal to 876 which is true very good I'll say dot zero, which is still true because integer and decimal, hey, it's, it's the same. Not the same, but in the in our example, for the true and false, it's the same, okay? Uh, don't get confused and say that integer and decimal are the same. They're not the same, guys, okay? <laughs> Next, equality operator, I'm say one equal to equal to one, which is true. And here, I'm gonna take one more example here. Please remember that this is string integer. Now, if you want to have anything in the string, okay, just say 
say I'll say Manju okay equal to equal to Manju let's see what happens okay see it's perfectly fine and if I say Manju 1 it's false it's comparing the strings it's comparing the each value from left and right operand okay now the final one which I want to talk about is the K7 and here say now you have let's do one thing now here I have 1 2 which is 12 an integer okay let's do one thing let's go back here in our example and try to understand this this guy we're trying to understanding the coercion okay <coughs> now you here you have I'm taking 12 which is an integer okay now if I say as 1 2 3 which is a string or I'll just say 1 2 which is string one is integer other one is string okay let us see what happens see I'll say integer coerce coerce to 1 2 see it's true guys see it's true which means that even though if this is string even though if this is string by using this symbol by using this symbol it is coercing this to a number see it is coercing this to a number that's the definition of it okay now say for example if I say this both of them are string anyways it's true now even if I remove this see it will coerce okay it will coerce which means it will neutralize okay say now this is string right the moment once I use something like this okay the moment once I use something like this what happens is that it will get converted to like this see it is getting converted to like this this is getting converted to an integer so that's the an example that I have here see here the name it says that uh, see equality operator that tries to coerce one value to the type of the other when the types are different see when the types are different let's go back to our example and here we'll try to compare that okay see here when the types are different Okay, so I need to scroll a little bit here. Okay, types are different. Here it is string and here it is integer. Correct? Types are different. Agreed? It will try to coerce one value to the type of the other. One value, 12. 12 of type integer to the value 12 of type string. So it is coercing from one value to the other. So that is what it means. Okay, now if you can see there are certain example here. It's quite a beautiful example in the expression 1 2 3 greater than 12 data view coerces 12 a number type to a string because this is string and this becomes string something like that in a similar way that's what we have done and remember that this is not equal when you say not equal not equal is nothing but this guy most of them even the interview they get confused with this and this this is not equal and this is coercing a value both are different this this is an equality operator which means you have to follow the strict regulations of both of them should be equal a should be a a cannot be b okay in the similar way you're using equal operator please know you note that you're using equal operator all you're saying that coerce coerce that okay so for example if i say manju and 12 it will fall because manju is not equal to 12 and if i say manju equal to manju it is still false okay you need to coerce that okay see if i do something like this it will prove to true it will navigate to say for example 45 coerce to 45 is 45 equal to 98 no it is never equal to 98 now uh, okay sorry 45 equal to I should have used this operator 45 equal to 98 no it is not equal to 98 now if I use a string is 45 equal to 98 no it's not 
it's 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 not correct or even if i say 45 equal to 45 see it is still false it is still false because this is string and this is integer string can never be integer this is string and this is integer now the moment once i say coerce see it has shifted to true again observe this pattern this particular value now i'm going to change this see here if 45 equal to 45 see it's false because one is string other one is integer and if i say equal to sorry it is equal to say this it has become true true now that's the coercing part of it good so now you guys have understood one of the beautiful concept of equality in relational operators right now <coughs> let's shift to our logical operator in this case i'm going to say dw and what are we going to look at we are going to look at um, and or not exclamation that's another important topic and guys how do you comment it see if you want to add any comment then all you have to do is um say for example if you this is a single line comment single line comment okay and this is st slash star is a multi line comment multi line comment okay so which means that you can comment wherever till wherever you want so if you can see here i have started here and i have ended this here which means everything gets commented out okay it's a multi line comment okay so slash star is a multi line comment okay See, slash star is a multi-line comment. Um, let me show that. Say, I want to comment. Say k one. I want to comment slash star k one, and I am going to end here. Okay, just uh, see here. K one to k two has been commented out. As you can see in the right panel of the screen, k three to k seven has been displayed, but not k one and k two. <coughs> Now, with that being said, let's go to the logical operators. review first and my favorite is of all time okay of all time <coughs> it's the and operator and means everything should be true guys everything should be true right so let's talk about and operator uh let's do one thing let's talk about and operator okay and here i'm going to create this array then i'm going to talk about Okay, or operator. We we'll can't talk about this. And or instead of this, I can just why array? I'll just name it as object. Object is the right way. Okay. So uh, object, object. Then you have. Okay, let me. Then you have the. um not operator not operator <coughs> okay okay just give me another line and finally this guy operator okay okay i think uh, we need to okay just taken a complete different color altogether guys can you see it it has taken a green color wonder why Anyways, that's off the record. Let's start with the operate and operator. K one as usual, my favorite. K one is a key value pair. As I can remember, it's a key. Key ones. This is nothing. K one is nothing but key. Guys, always remember this. This is key one, and this is nothing but my value one. Okay. And please observe the right panel of your screen. How it's getting displayed. Okay. So I'm just going to give it as key one, value one. Okay, what can I do with value one? I'll say value one and value one. That's it. Uh, it doesn't give any value, guys. Okay, so it doesn't give any value. Seems that string and string. Nah, it's it's not helping me out. Okay, string and string. It's not helping me out. Value one and value one. So there's no preview. As you can see, if you click on it, it clearly shows that. <coughs> see here. If you click on this. It says that. Uh, coerce string value one to boolean. Now, so it's not, it's not. 
what is value one it's a string and string it it's not able to understand that to do that we have not yet covered many things we will 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 pick it up let's do one thing let's go with the basic say if i say one and one that also will not work so we'll go with the boolean one true and true see what happens true and true as it says true now you should understand the significance of these kind of operators what it does we'll check later if i say true and false it's false now if i say false and false obviously it's true sorry it's false i'm sorry uh, no no false and false should be true guys okay no it's false okay it's false so false and false should be always false because the right hand operator is false and the left hand operator is false so false and false should always be false okay i'm sure i have missed that okay now key for see true and true <coughs> true and false false and false false and true let's do one thing now we'll say true and false uh what have we done we have done true and true we have done false and false okay now we have to do false and true false and true okay now let's understand the difference see to work with and operator and means in if you have worked in any programming language both of them should be true the right hand of the left hand operator and the right hand operator should be true here true and true that is the reason it's true now if you see here in the next one here true and false obviously it's false because both of them are not correct false and true it's always false because both of them are not true false and false both of them are false anyways both of them are false and hence it is making as false now if i have to take an example which i said which we try to do that before say for example let me open with a small bracket i'll say 1 plus 1 equal to 2 okay see if you can see 1 plus 1 equal to 2 which is true because it is evaluating to boolean value okay see if i remove this it doesn't see it's just 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 which is true now if i say 1 plus 1 is equal to 5 sorry if it is 5 it is false just please pay attention to the right panel of the screen 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 now i will say and and i will say 1 plus 1 and say 10 plus 10 equal to 20 guys think about it this is true this is true what is true and true this guy this condition true and true true and true means true and hence you get the true now if i change it to 10 plus 20 10 plus 10 is equal to say 50 now just let's understand this now this is true 10 plus 10 is not is 50 is false what is true and false true and false is false and hence it is false guys getting it right hope you are getting it 1 plus 1 is true 1 plus 1 is true 10 plus 10 plus 10 is equal to 50 is not true it is false true and false is nothing but false now with this permutation and combination you can work it out with any examples now case 6 say for example um 10 divided by 20 is equal to 0.5 okay we'll say equal to which is true and and i'm going to say 1 multiplied by 4 it should be 4 but i'm going to say 9 it is false see and hence the result is false okay guys i think we have exceeded it's close to 20 minutes um i think our brain gets heated up if we have a lengthy videos it's not healthy so let's stop here and let's continue further with the rest of the operands in the next video i'm going to break this right now okay so pause it oh, sorry so i'm going to stop the video do some permutation combination for the and operand and in the next video we're going to look at some more operators okay or not and not equal to operators 
Until then, see you guys in the next video. Thank you.